Hi, this is Aaron with Zolo Tech. Today I have an old case, but a good case. Um, this actually hasn't been opened, but uh, this is the Armor Skin, and this is for a first-gen iPod Touch. Um, there's actually a new version of this, and they just call it the Pixel Skin as opposed to the Armor Skin. <clears throat> From what I can tell, they look exactly the same, uh, other than the name. Now, there may be very minor differences, but the back looks the same. They may call them, come in different colors and that sort of thing. So here's a first-gen iPod Touch pretty scratched up on the back. Um, not as bad as some I've seen. And here's the case. So on the case, uh, this actually is a two-pack. It was on Amazon for about $20. And the case comes, uh, see, as you can see, it says two-pack. Um, it's white and black. So a lot of people have been ordering just like the clear or white case, and they're getting both. So that's kind of a cool deal. If you're looking for a case and you have a first-gen iPod, uh, you may want to check that out. So as you can see, um, I don't know if they still make this regularly. It is on their site. I just checked it out. Um, but, you know, here it says uh, Armor Wrap Protection. Armor Wrap protects the iPod Touch from impact. Durable textured tread with screen protection. So uh, let's take a look and see what's inside. Now, it, it is dual, so we've got two cases here. So they pull out like that. And there's nothing left in the box. Uh, I guess we... Okay, so they've got them facing each other here. And we'll just pull that apart. So here's one. Let's take a look at the black one first. So this is... Uh, looks like that's just it. Now it says it offers screen protection. Uh, I don't see a screen protector in here, so it's probably in the other side. So, first impressions though. Uh, real soft silicone. Very strong. You can see them stretching it. And let's just see how this fits in here. Because uh, it's real smooth in here, there's nothing, I mean, it's just a silicone case, but uh, let's see how it looks on the uh, iPod Touch. Oh, let me slide it in here first, actually. Uh, there we go. So, there we go. So that's on there. A little bit tough to get in there. But fits really nicely. Leaves the ports open on the bottom. Uh, has a little button press here. There we go. Now there isn't a little, I don't think there's a little nub. Some of these have a nub. No, it's just flat here. So some, it's just flat to touch the bottom, but that's fine. It's flexible enough. Shouldn't prevent a, or, uh, present a problem. And then you have this little cutout here for your, uh, you know, your hold. So that's it. Now there is no screen protector on there. So that's the black case. Let's put this down. Let's see what's in the white case. So here's the white one. Um, or it looks more clear than white. <coughs> So, you've got this in here. Let's pull this out and take a look. Okay, so again, same sort of case. Pretty clear. You can see my fingers through there. Real thin. Exact same thing as that case. So you get an idea. Uh, and in here, we have one screen protector. Now, I'm not going to put this on. Um, but it's the dual dual layer. They have their name on it. Feels pretty much like any screen protector. Pretty thick. Um, you know, but there isn't a whole lot more. And then here's the uh, here's the uh, instructions how to apply that. But they don't uh, they don't give you a cleaning cloth or microfiber in here. So not a huge deal. But those are always nice when they throw those in. And there is no squeegee, but it, it almost looks like you could use this as a squeegee if you needed to. This is pretty rigid cardboard. So uh, let's take a look and just see how the iPod Touch looks in the uh, clear case to give you an idea. Because you see, you can't see through here or anything. Let's see how the other one looks. There we go. So real easy to pull in and out uh, as long as you slide it in bottom first. So there we go. A little bit more tricky to pull it into here. There we go. So, okay, so that fits nicely. See, through the see-through, you can kind of see the iPod. You can't really see the back. It is like the chrome black back, but you can see the little black notch here for the uh, Wi-Fi antenna. Um, you can see, again, the same cutout on the bottom. And uh, this is a nice texture. Uh, it's probably going to catch a bunch of lint, but the reviews on uh, Amazon, anyway, say it does not. So... <coughs> Um, so it's hard to say if this is really going to, I would imagine if you're going to throw this in your pocket, it's going to ca capture a lot of lint, but uh, that's pretty much it for that. You can see this is li lined up nicely through here with the little the uh, hold button, uh, and that's pretty much it. So for $20, 
on uh, on Amazon. You can get both cases. You may be able to find it cheaper some places. You may be able to find it, you know, maybe a little bit more. Uh, I don't think it was free shipping, so you're probably going to pay a little bit more. But not a bad deal for two cases. Uh, they'll probably last quite a while just because they actually have a little more... I don't want to say... It, it doesn't feel as much like silicone as it does maybe like a rubber. Like, um, you know, like a real... It, it's hard to say what this material really is. <coughs> it's not quite as sticky as silicone is. It's more, it feels more like uh, rubber from tire tread almost. So, and it's not leaving any residue on my hands, anything. So, pretty decent, 20 bucks. It, again, it's the uh, Spec Armor Skin, or if you have an iPod 2nd Gen, it's the Pixel Skin. So, uh, that's at, let me just check to give you the right name, and I'll put it here on the uh, podcast, or on the podcast, on the, <coughs> on the, uh, the notes here. Let's see. It is... Oh, well, I don't see it, but I'll give you the... Oh, there it is, specproducts.com. So check them out at specproducts.com. Uh, and, and please rate the video if you have a moment. Just below the video, you know, there's a rating button right in here. Just do that. It helps with traffic and uh, gets the, the site or gets the, uh, the views, you know, helps with views, that sort of thing. So uh, that's it, and uh, we'll see you next time.